guys, that's Dorota Palitska International, nail artist and educator here and I'm in with Morgan again and we came up with those beautiful idea. look at those pretty sets, so we've got Aurora, we've got some kind of leaves like they're so cute and delicate, oh this one is so nice as well, <laughs> uh, we actually love it, all this set, yeah, they're so pretty. isn't it, and uh, I'll show you how to do it, so we have sculpted it for a change as well, like uh, which I'm very happy for because you guys know I love sculpted set, they're always so nice, so before I start doing anything of course we have sanitized her hands and my hands and now I'm just going to apply those nail forms and prep the natural nail plate, so I'm um, using a 180 grit on top of the natural nail just to scratch it shape it same on this one so scratch it nice shape it and this hand as well I have left two on each hand just so I can show you all different things which we have done in here We have pinched them as well, so they look much more narrow, which is awesome. Oh, Morgan is showing the pinch <laughs> underneath. There we are. So you can guys look at, like, there we are, like, how nicely they, they look the car from them. I love when the nails are pinched, like, totally. Okay, remove the dust. We need to do a set with the opal, I think, I as well. Like, that would be cool, at isn't some it? Point. Yeah, maybe my next set. And this is nice for a design as well, like, actually it goes with, yeah, it goes with uh, it's a different, slightly different type of the leaves I did it this time, but uh, yeah, so I dehydrated the nail plate, and now we are going to apply the forms, sculpted forms. So Morgan has got quite similar shape to my nails as well, so I'm putting it on the back of the form, and then using the scissors we are going to cut out a first part of the form, just so we can pinch it nicer. So I'm cutting out in here. This is the hottest day we had so far in Fortulium. That's awful. Awesome. <laughs> no, it's nice. <laughs> it's really nice. I'm rolling the form in between my fingers. Close it and then we can apply it underneath of the nail. So oh gosh, sorry, keep banging the camera. Just relax it a little bit. Perfect. So nice and straight, once I've got it, I can start closing the form. Perfect. Then the next one. The most difficult actually part on doing the sculpted set, guys, is a client not touching the nails. <laughs> I've been trying so hard, haven't I? Yes, you have been really good. <laughs> So I'm cutting out again. Oh gosh, what I did with this one. Let me bin it. I made a wheat here and there. That's actually not the usual scissors I use. I use cuticle scissors. They are perfect for cutting the forms. Now, excuse if there is some noises from the old door but it's so warm that I just have to keep all the doors open <laughs> and the gel behaves different as well it's like a water okay I'm rolling this form pick up the phone and then come back to you guys okay that's me back so I'm just closing this form put it underneath Trim it a little bit more. I'm going to be really fussy with this set, guys. Like, we will do it the same like we are doing my set of the nails. So they're really nice and pretty. So we will pinch them. We will shape them beautiful. We will go very close to the cuticles. That's a nice perfect set. Awesome, so the first hand is on and to save the time I'm just going to apply an extra nail prep through the entire nail plate. Then wait for it to dry. I, you can use the fan as well, Universal Airbond. 
two and then on this nail we are going to go for a glitter and on this nail we are going to go for aurora pigment and i'm going to use the soft pink sculpting gel it's a fiber gel and yes they are sculpting gels as well okay so first of all nice and thin layer i mean obviously the gel is like as i say it's like a water because it's really warm in here today actually let's maybe no I'll do two at the same time very risky but yeah i'm going to do it too at the same time so i'm applying it first on top of the natural nail plate and then i'm going to build up the free edge And same on this one. I have not much time to play with the gel. As you can see it guys, it's really runny. Perfect, inside the lamp. So we are going to cure those nails for about uh, 30 seconds and then we can pinch it. And same on this hand. I'm going to grab the nail forms and apply the nail forms. Morgan, please play with your hands in and out so it doesn't get hot. Put it back in and just play with them. Then I'm cutting out this hand. When doing a new set, like uh, clears and see-through gels can gives a little bit of the heat spike. Uh, especially when it's so hot as well uh, so I always recommend it to my clients to take their hand out and put it back in to slow down the curing process before they start feeling hot because once they start feeling hot it's too late you can't do anything about it apply the next form in and as you can see it guys quite often I squeeze the a nail plate there as well so that's why I'm always using the dehydrator and um, the second time as well before the gel application okay cut out this one and this is the same way I would do a um, full set of the nails I would apply a couple forms on the one hand and then when the other hand cures I'm doing it uh, again so roll in Then apply it underneath of the next finger. Extra nail prep. Wait for it to dry. And then universal air bond and exactly the same we are going to do it on this one so nice and thin layer nice and thin layer build up the thin skeleton Same on this one. Okay, so look like I'm I'm having only a little bit product, so it's easier to control it. Change. Don't bank, don't bank. Perfect. <laughs> Try to don't bang, but play with them. So on this one, we're going for a glitter encapsulation. And what I'm going to do it is apply a nice and thin layer of the gel. So nice and thin, nice and thin, making sure like I've got the product all over. Then take a small scoop of the product through my apex, more to the middle. And then we are going to use the magic glitter in blue
just through entire nail. So nice and pretty glitter. It's so pretty. Isn't it? I love it. <laughs> I'm glad you do. After I have put the glitter, touch it with the sponge. Change. Okay, same on this one, but then the glitter goes on this nail, so nice and thin layer, a little apex, more to the middle. And I'm trying always put smaller particles of the glitter to the top of the nail, like around the cuticle area, and then the larger can go in the middle and any other places. Perfect, darling. Change. Let's pinch those nails a little bit as well. So I'm using a pinching clamps and we are going to squish them a little bit. We have pinched them already with the form application because I have closed the form in really nice shape. So, uh, but it's just to give them those extra slender look. Perfect. Change your hands. And you have to always pinch it before the gel is fully cured. Like once it's fully cured, it's too late to pinch it. Not sore? No. Please tell me if you would feel it at any time, okay? When you're pinching the nails, uh, client's nails, never pinch the nails which are weak and it never should be painful. So always keep a contact uh, with the client asking them if it's uh, okay and if it's not sore guys okay this is really important not all nails are suitable for a pinching and you can really get a nice shape by um, rolling the form in between the fingers and pinch your form as well so only use it if you know what you're doing okay also i'm keeping this uh, as my mixing palette like i mean normally i used to bin it but it's awesome to keep your colors uh, for like marbles and other different things so just a wee tip for you guys as well perfect change your hands Okay, I can take the pinching clamp off and you can see already how the shape has changed. It is much more narrow, which is awesome. For the glitter encapsulation, I can straight away pull the form because we've got enough structure there. And apply some um, clear gel, which is Crystal One. I prefer it Crystal One because it's kind of watery consistency. So it's really nice for a glitter encapsulation. Okay, nice and thin layer through the entire nail and then I'm just doing my apex I'm always making the extension a little bit longer than I need it but I'm not applying my apex through the entire nail I apply it only at the place I know I need it so it's quick to file change I hope that makes sense so like I wouldn't put it uh, like the end of the nail is very thin, like extremely thin and like those edges. So I wouldn't put it, the product, um, the apex through the entire nail. I'm applying only nice and thin layer there. And um, so it's very, very easy to shape it. But I will show you guys as well. So I'm picking up another uh, scoop of the product and building my apex. So one side, other side, one side, other side. And then we are going to check the side view and swap the hands change awesome now we have to do the structure on this middle finger so i'm going back into my soft pink gel again so clean the brush pick up nice and thin layer nice and thin layer and now once I've got the structure built in, I can, uh, not structure, skeleton, I can really concentrate on the places I really need to um, fill up, like add it more product so you can play with it more. Pick up the decent scoop of the product for the apex and do the apex very quickly because the weather is so hot that we are not going to be able to wait a long time. So I place it more to the middle. change okay and then same on this one so nice and thin layer nice and thin layer pick up the scoop of the product for the apex 
one side, other side, one side, other side. Perfect change. Science is so warm and the gel is runny. I'm going to check it if I've got enough product. So just a wee touch up in there. Gosh, that's so misshaped. Change. <laughs> And then check on this one. So I've got enough product there and I've got enough product there. Okay, we are going to cure those needles and then I show you how I file it. Okay, that's the hand ready. So I'm just going to shape it for you. So pull the form down, remove the inhibition layer and we can shape it. <laughs> that's so misshaped. So I'm starting with the side filing. One side, other side. In a kind of v-shape because we want to get a nice coffin you can already start seeing guys how the shape is changing of course this nail is far too long but look like the filing doesn't take me long because the sides are so nice and thin that it doesn't take long blend everything around the cuticle area always this part needs to be blended in I want to be more coffee check the length so it's still far too long No, this is a nice lint when they just work able lint. Smooth it out from the top. then move on into the next one the bulky one I have just swapped the file so I'm not going to cut Morgan because I need to file in the corner there so for filing those sides I rather to use not as sharp file and this one I just pick up a second file for her set so it would be too sharp now one side other side and you can see already looks better shorten the free edge remove the runny bulk of the gel which we've got it on this side check the land so Morgan doesn't break them, she works in a bar, so they need to be sensible. It's not two of my last ones, anyway. Yeah. Indeed. But at least we've got a nice new set and <laughs> it's even prettier than the last one. <laughs> So just almost there. Okay, and that's me happy with the shape. I'm going to do it exactly the same on the other hand. So pull the form down, remove the inhibition layer. One side, other side, get those nice V coffin shape. And I tend to try to, like, I try to uh, 
work uniform with my shaping so each time I'm doing kind of similar movements uh, for every single set of the nails I'm doing uh, this way it's easier to learn the consistency and produce kind of more same sets of the nails like with the nice shaping guys Just relax your hand a bit for me. This one is so nice. So shorten it, smooth it out, and then blend everything around the cuticle area. Morgan have been bad, she didn't apply cuticle oil. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> She says she's going to apply cuticle oil next time. I know, I say it every time, but yeah. I actually do need to get some. Okay, and then shape this one. So one side, other side. Nice V shape. We want them to be nice and narrow. And you can see guys already the shape looks pretty good. I'm also checking always from underneath as well like to... Sorry Morgan, <laughs> you're not behaving, come on, come on. Thanks, I'm only kidding. Uh, I'm checking also from underneath as well. That's brilliant, thank you so much. Uh, from underneath uh, to see if the uh, lower arches are at the same level. You really want to have them all at the same level as well. Okay, just before we swap into the buffer, I'm going to check the client view on those nails. A bit shorter. Can I check your other hand just for a length? Thank you. And the client view. So with the client view, I might sometimes touch up the shape as well. I know I've got a little bit more blending to do around the cuticle area, uh, but we can easily leave it to do it with the buffer. So my next step is a buffer. And the buffer is just perfecting this shape. It's, it's still creating lots of scratches. And just making the nails nice. Okay, this one is perfect now. Absolutely perfect. So push back the cuticle, blend everything out, like you guys cannot have any product, any place which you can see where the product is starting there. Then they are not going to lift. Smooth it out, so it's nice. Okay, same on this one.
So also you can see it, what I'm doing is, of course, um, pushing back the cuticles uh, with the buffer a little bit as well. And when I use the buffer, I kind of exfoliate cuticles a little bit as well. So now it's time to trim them a little bit. So just clean them. So I just switch off the fan, clean, clean, clean. Obviously I have cut out like a tons of cuticles from Morgan <laughs> before we started. <laughs> and this is a rant too. Because uh, I try to never remove too much, especially when we have to do the filing um, afterwards. So this is a rant too. The first rant was when she came in with the nails. That's why I keep laughing about the cuticle oil. Because we could cook a soup with all the meat which we have removed. <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible. So I'm just uh, touching up a little bit more. But at the same time, you don't want to go too invasive. Like you want to only remove as much as is safe to do. So that's why I like to do it on two stages. And you guys always see me. I'm doing a little bit of the cuticle work. Only what is necessary. Only what is on the nail plate. Mm, before the application of the product. And then before the gel polish application. I'm just touching up. If it's necessary a little bit more. Thank you so much. So let's push those cuticles again and then we can apply those amazing blue color. I love it so much guys. It's so pretty. Like so, so pretty. Not so? No. And the color which we are going to use is... Wave after wave 220. That's a cute name. I don't know why we didn't check the name before. So I'm just going to apply this color there. And so, so pretty. It's so smooth as well. I'm trying my best. So push the cuticle back and apply it in perfect inside same on this one nice and close nice and close Okay, on this one, we don't do anything, we just keep it clear. We will do Aurora. Okay, so on this one, I am ready for a top coat application. If it would be my set of the nails, I would probably do a wee leaf, but uh, it is Morgan, and Morgan doesn't like the nails which are over the top. Perfect. Change. And then, Popcorn. no, leaves. Leaves on that one as well. Yes, on the middle finger. I will do on all of them. <laughs> no, we do leaves on this one. So for the leaves, we are going to use the paint on French gel. And the D-liner brush. And they are slightly different shaped leaves uh, than you have guys seen me doing before they a little bit longer so I'm just doing a wee wavy line and then painting a little bit longer leaves prelong it another one they more like a I don't know palm tree leaves how would you call it I don't even know you don't know okay <laughs> 
Fajn. Prilonged. Exotic, more exotic, like not like a normal oh, leaves. Yeah, kind of. But not completely. No. Okay, and then on the other side. Very nice and summery set. Okay, so on this one, a second coat of those amazing blue color. It actually looks really nice even after one coat, guys. Don't you think? Yeah, it does. It looks really, like full coverage. Uh huh. Perfect change. Second coat on this one. I can't wait to take this beautiful <laughs> Tamil picture. So pretty. Okay, and then on this one I can already apply the top coat. And I love how the glitter pops out on this set. Perfect change. Then on this one we have to apply the top coat because we are going to apply the Aurora pigment and it looks absolutely stunning over the blue. And then do some leaves as well. So nice and thin layer. Change. <laughs> Okay, and then we have to wait for this one to cure and I can fit the top coat over it so slight on top of it. The Aurora pigment, I've got it in here. I will give you guys links in the description of the video as well. I need to cook the nails, so I've got time to clean it. Uh, the desk a little bit. Perfect, I take the left hand. Which one is left? Oh, wow. You better know, than me. I'm like always either. confused. Like I'm always confused. <laughs> My face went blank there. I had to like actually think about which hand that was. Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> left, right, left, right. We are driving the car and we're going somewhere. I'm telling Patrick, turn left, and then like, no, it was right. <laughs> I'm horrible. Like really. I'm just like go that way. That way. Yeah, that's the easiest. So I'm waiting a couple seconds longer and then I can wrap in those Aurora pigment. Yeah, if it would be my set, I would just slap it on more leaves change. <laughs> uh, Aurora pigment and, and look how pretty this nail is going to become. Oh my goodness, I love it over the blue. So do I, it's so nice. Isn't it? I love it. Absolutely amazing. Look guys at this, like, wow, it's so nice, so pretty. I want Aurora nails now as well. <laughs> so after I wrap the pigment, like, make sure you have no um, leftover pigment. Like, you really don't want any bits and pieces of the pigment before you apply the top coat. So I also scratch the edges so the Aurora pigment doesn't come off. And then we are going to apply the top coat and we will do the leaves 3D this time, okay? So the top coat goes over it. Top coat goes over it. Like, make sure I'm capping the free edge. Change. And this hand is finished. Or should we add one leaf, just like tiny bit in the corners? Like a tiny one? No. Okay, come on, please! <laughs> no, it's fine, I respect your... Uh, I take this hand. So guys, if it would be my set, the leaves would be everywhere. But no, no, no. Let's let's be respectful to the clients. <laughs> you are getting leaves or no nails anymore. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. Okay. They already look perfect. They look per they really nice, yes. We don't want to spoil it. Okay, so 
we just have to paint the sleeve, cook it, and then that's this pretty set finished. Oh, that's good because you didn't even have to put the sugar glitter on that you wanted, remember? Yes, I wanted to use some <laughs> sugar glitter, and Morgan doesn't like sugar, Morgan doesn't like gems, Morgan, Morgan doesn't, doesn't like textures. texture on her nails, so. But it's fine, I do understand that like different people like different things so we need to find solution for everyone gosh i love this one this is my favorite one this this middle finger is my favorite one is it? yes because it has aurora pigment over it and i i love aurora pigment and it also has those leaves over it as well like a bit of nail art but it's not tacky nail art no it's nice And the last one, just a wee tiny one. And this nail is just perfect. That's my favorite one. Cook it in. Oh, wow. See, so it is your, it's your favorite one as well, yeah? yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, we are just going to cook those nails, clean them, apply cuticle oil, and take an amazing, uh, beautiful thumbnail picture for you guys. I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks, and I hope you have really... Uh, enjoy watching this tutorial of those pretty 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 set and you have learned something as well uh, because that's what it is all about if you recreate this look and look at the farm again it's so cute just a wee tiny one see the wee tiny one should be here and here like one coming up from there and one coming up from there but anyway guys if you recreate this look hashtag Dorota Paliska as I would love to see your sets as well and then I can check them out on the Instagram and uh, I'm looking actually forward to seeing them and i'm looking forward for the next uh, morgan sets of the nails as well so this hand is cute can i take it the guys on both of them like is so nice so nice and pretty and that's what we have created today yeah one more time sending you glittery hacks and bye for now